What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the 4 for 4 Philly Fan Podcast. Good news today broke by John Clark of NBC Sports. Fans. Philadelphia fans. We're back. We're back. Wells Fargo Center and Citizens Bank Park open up their stadiums March 7th. First game back with fans will be March 7th against the Washington Capitals. The Flyers will be playing, obviously. Um, I'm excited, guys. I mean, through all this, all this stuff that we have gone through over the last year, I would love and I can't wait to be back in those stands. I can't wait to be back in those seats. I miss it. I'm sure a lot of you guys miss it. And I'm happy about it. I truly am. Um... You know, obviously with everything, you know, you need to still do the safety protocols and everything like that. Um, but I'm excited to be back in those stadiums. I, you know, this is a huge step from where I would like to be at with this channel. And that is bringing you guys game vlogs. You know, just me going to, this, to the games, having a good time with my friends. You know, that's what I want you guys to live through my eyes in Philadelphia sports, you know, fandom. That's what I was, you know, planning to do last year. And then obviously that didn't happen. But I'm happy. Now, it's like 25 to 3,100 fans in the stands in the Wells Fargo Center and like 8,600 um, for Citizens Bank Park. Obviously, we all know that they're in spring training right now. So we won't be able to see them play just yet but april 1st is opening day for the phillies against the braves um i'm excited to go to that I'm, i want to go to that pittsburgh also opened up their fans there will be fans tonight um in the stands no Sidney crosby for this entire week he did actually get the virus he was actually you know he tested positive so he will be out all week I want three wins. That's obviously what everybody wants. I think that we can definitely get three wins regardless of Crosby playing or not. We already beat them twice healthy, and now we're fully healthy. Travis Konechny's back. But it, it, it's really just, it's refreshing. It really is knowing that we will be able to go watch our teams play live. And if you're hearing all the athletes, you know, Elaine Vigneault said it, Doc Rivers, Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons, uh, Faraby, JVR, Hayes, everybody, everybody, they miss the fans. A lot of people from Philadelphia, you know, they love their time here in Philly, and that is because of the fans. And when you take out that much of a piece of a game, I mean, fans and and fans in the stands is a huge part of sports. The electricity, the everything to do with it. Who doesn't want to hear 20,000 fans up on their feet after Joel Embiid has a monster dunk and is waving on for the crowd to, you know, hype him up? Who doesn't want to see that? Who doesn't want to hear that? Same thing with an overtime goal in hockey or a walk-off home run by Bryce Harper or an amazing save by Carter Hart or a touchdown at the link or a goal at Subaru Park. It's all the same. The crowd intensifies the game. It makes the game enjoyable. It makes the game worth watching. When you see those thousands of fans jumping out of their seats, getting hype, high-fiving one another, hugging random people, and I don't expect it to be that way, you know, just yet. I don't expect that, and I think that the, the city will enforce that, that you can't do what I just explained. But fans... Fans in sports are all in one. You don't have sports without fans. I don't do this if I wasn't a fan. And I don't I don't make videos for all of you if you guys weren't fans. You guys subscribe to me. You guys watch my videos because you're a fan. And you like to watch and see my reactions and how I feel. And I'm blessed that I could do that. I love every single one of you. I really do. Every single one of you out there. I appreciate all of you. And I thank you all thousands of times throughout the year. Because I truly do 
mean it. I am blessed that I am able to do this. But I want to bring more to you guys. I want to make you guys live through my eyes. And if you see me at a game, I'll tweet it out. Just follow my Twitter, at 444fan. 444 P-H-A-N. That's it. And the link will be in the bio down below. But I will be at these games. I will be at, I'm, I'm a season ticket holder for the Sixers. I go to, you know, some, some Flyers games. I love the Phillies and I love the Eagles and the, and the Union. All of it. I went to a couple Union games this past year. And they were crazy good. But I just wish they were sold out fans. Imagine holding up the supporter shield with however many fans can hold in Subaru Park. That place would have gone crazy. It was going crazy regardless. We beat I don't, Toronto FC. I, I forget who we even beat. I think it was actually New England who knocked us out in the first round. But I'm excited. I want you guys to be a part of where I would like this channel to be. And that is becoming a vlogger. I would love for you guys to be with me on that journey. And this is a big step. Do I think, do I plan on going Sunday? I do. Personally, I want to be in those stands. I would love to go to City Field and where the Devils play and Madison Square Garden and Boston. I would love to do that for you guys and vlog the whole experience and make you guys feel like you are with me every step of the way. Because I like doing that for you guys. And I would love to do it for myself when I'm older and my kids go, Oh, how were you as an how were you as a teenager? Well, here you go. You're watching it through my eyes. And I can honestly say that I would love to do that with every single one of you. And again, I will tweet it out when I am at the games. I'll tweet out the section. I'll tweet out everything. And if you guys want to come up, talk a little sports, I have no problem with that. Come up to me. I would like for you guys to come up to me. I've seen a couple of, you know, you guys out around my neighborhood and, and where I used to work in the mall. And I love it. I love it. That little bit of, wow, people watch your videos. It's great. And it's nothing to do with anything other than I love watching Philadelphia sports. And I know that Philadelphia has the best fans in the world. And to make you guys re like live that with me, that would be awesome. And this is a big step into, you know, where I want this to go. Where I want this to head. And this is big. So fans are back starting on Sunday, March 7th. Uh, Flyers versus Capitals. The first uh, Sixers game will be March 14th against the San Antonio Spurs. Um, I do expect to be at that. I would love to be at that. Again, season ticket holder. I have, you know, the ability to get those tickets. And I, I plan on it. But I, I, you know, again, I love you guys. And I want you guys to live through my eyes. If, if it's not possible for you guys to live it yourselves. And that's what I plan on doing. Vlogging is going to be a big part of my channel when I can get back in those stadiums, and that is only six days away, five days away, whatever it is, if I can even get tickets. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching every single day. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And, you know, you're hearing it from me first. I want you guys to, you know, come along with me on this journey, in the stadiums, where I go to eat in Philadelphia, but you know, just everything. So thank you all so much for watching every single day. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Fans are back. Flyers play tonight at 7 against the Pittsburgh Penguins without Sidney Crosby. Travis Konechny is back. And with that being said, thank you all again. I'm out. Peace. Go Flyers, baby.